Hello everyone, this is the Whiskey Lizard here at the lab and everybody wonders how do you take these Emerson blades off over here because they don't have a uh, don't have a nut on the collar or screw I should say and the way these blades come off is you unscrew them and there's a certain way to do that now you always go to the left screw if you take the right screw out and you go to put the screw in there you're going to run it into the windings so you take the left screw out, like so. This is a 10 24 hardened steel, about a 2 inch long, and we just screw that in here. There we go. There we go. We screw that in there. Now when we get about that part, we turn the blade so you know when the screw's grabbing the rotor. Because you don't want to apply too much pressure to that rotor once you get a bite on it. There we go. Okay, we're starting to tighten up. Now you don't have to tighten this thing super tight and then you just turn the blade clockwise to unscrew it and then you pull it off and on the front over here this is this is what drives the drive shaft uh, drives your oscillator so when you put the blade back on you gotta make sure there's a slot in there that the slot is in there and you'll know I'll show you how to do that now you want to put the blade on you just do the opposite you screw it on it's fine thread so you have to make sure that you got this uh, that you don't put it on crooked because you'll strip it Let's see it's on crooked if it doesn't go on real easy of course it's, it's going to be a bear and sometimes they're like that it on there, give it a half a turn, then you take the screw out. Because you don't have to crank down and tighten these up real tight, just a, a snug fit. Then you take the, the screw that holds the holds the rotor, locks the rotor in place. it out and you put the original screw back in and to know if you have it locked if you have it in there you just watch the you spin the blade and watch the rotor I mean watch the wheel here if the wheels turning then you know you have the shaft in there. And that uh, pretty much concludes our how to uh, take an uh, Emerson blade off. This also work, this works with any size Emerson, but the screw is going to be a larger screw. So you take the screw out and take it to a hardware store and size it, and then you get a, a screw that size, uh, hardened steel. Don't use a soft steel, because if you use soft steel, it's going to bend into the rotor, and you're going to have problems with your motor. Well, that's all for today. Until next time, so long everybody.